Hi there, Pastor Don on this Wednesday. This is our weekly uh, update that we are bringing to you via email. It's our way of staying connected and uh, to give you a more in-person update on uh, what's going on and what's upcoming. You know, we are in a week where we are beginning to focus on the issue of stewardship. And as I said in, in my devotional for today, uh, stewardship is, is not about money only. It's about time and talent and treasure. It, it's a matter of generosity. It's a matter of spiritual maturity. It's a measure of the faith that we have that Jesus Christ is with us, will provide for us, owns everything we have, and that we are being well provided for. And so as you hear the messages in church uh, this coming Sunday from a variety of speakers, I, I hope that it will uh, cause you to reflect on your relationship to the Lord and to Rock of Ages Lutheran Church. You know, we have been extraordinarily blessed by the generosity of all of you, and I want to tell you how grateful I am for it. While this has been an unprecedented nine months, when we could never have anticipated uh, having to close the church for as long as we had to, our new church, a building that we had hardly had a chance to, to get used to, and then to um, not know about the financial um, uh, situation that we would be in going forward. Well, um, I am grateful to be able to report that uh, you have sustained us faithfully and that we are, are doing okay. Um, obviously, we miss the fact that we can't see you in person, as many as we would like to see, and that we're not seeing the visitors that we were seeing in such great numbers. But those days will return, especially as we contemplate the fact that uh, we're hearing some very good news about the availability of a vaccine in the very uh, near future. And so our prayer continues to be that um, th that vaccine would be uh, approved and will begin to be disseminated such that we can feel more confident about uh, returning to church in, in, in larger numbers and to participate in fellowship and to just be the church that, that we were before all of this began. Well, uh, we continue to adapt. We continue to uh, reach out and uh, do so very effectively through our video means. And, um, you know, the church calendar continues to, to march on and we're entering the season of, of Advent now. Sunday will be Christ the King Sunday. The season of Pentecost is now behind us and we are in the preparation for uh, the Christmas season, the time when we welcome the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. On the issue of Christmas, we have been uh, planning for uh, a Christmas Eve service, much as we've done in, in the past, uh, with a five o'clock candlelight service. Now, obviously, um, it's not going to be the kind of packed situation that uh, we have experienced in years past, but we do want you to feel comfortable in coming. We do need to, however, know how many are, are going to be here. And so we're going to ask that you would call the church office in the coming weeks to indicate whether or not you will come to a five o'clock Christmas Eve candlelight service. And will you be bringing guests? We need to know how many people will be here. We can accommodate up to about 70 people here between the sanctuary and the fellowship hall. Uh, allowing for social distancing. And um, we will uh, continue to try to make available um, all of the uh, traditions that we've come accustomed to on Christmas Eve. Uh, there will be singing with masks. Um, and we ask maybe that uh, when we sing that we don't do it with a huge amount of gusto. Uh, but that we do participate. So um, time marches on and we continue to march with you. I hope that you're all doing well and I hope to see you in church. Until then, 
God bless.